I believe our job is to create a safe place for the rhino and other animals to roam freely. Having a little two-year-old that runs around every morning, first thing is he goes to visit his ghost frog, he runs to the fence and he looks for his rhino that comes to visit every now and then. And for, for me, that's, that's what legacy is about, that's what your heritage is about. Three years ago, we lost a lot of rhinos, and it was almost crisis management. What do you do? How are we doing? We tried everything. We tried uh, dying rhinos' horns. At the end of the day, it's retrospective. If you've heard a shot, it's too late. Yeah, we've got a very small window. We've got maximum five kilometers that the guys will come in, shoot a rhino, and then leave. So that gives us, on average, half an hour. Cisco and, and uh, Dimension Data have been unbelievable in the way they've reached out and supported the approach. Technology is a huge benefit to us. It's basically our first line of defense. It's a game changer. It's a force multiplier we've never dreamt of. You know, the bush and technology don't normally go hand in hand. The heat, uh, lightning, the moisture, all these things, it's a, it's a very different scenario to what we would have in a pristine area with technology. This reserve is a, is a huge area, 50,000 hectares. So I think what Dimension Data has really done is implementing workable solutions in a harsh, harsh environment like the bush to make sure that we can do the work that we can do. They're giving us eyes on our fence lines. If anyone touches the fence, they immediately give eyes to our response teams and our helicopter instantly. And they give eyes to our screens and our control rooms. You can imagine on a park this size, that is just unbelievable. And they give it instantly and rapidly. We said, we need help to be given an early warning of someone human coming in the park. That's where we want to be. We don't want to spend our time wrestling the rhino and leave him and her alone to go and do what they do, which is to roam freely and not be stressed or darted or tagged or marked. The Wi-Fi that we've put in helps me greatly. I can be anywhere in the bush at any moment and receive a notification either for, via control or my tablet saying we've got an incursion here or we've picked up suspicious activity at this point. Exact GPS reference with live feed and that, that greatly assists me. If a poacher tries to get into the gate and he's um, got a criminal record or something like that, we know about it when he's trying to get into the gate. Data analytics for us is critical. If you've got background on a person, you can be much more proactive. And the information we've got on hand is safe, it's secure, it can't be hacked to them. So it, it means we can be confident in the information we've got and we know that's not leaking out all over the place or somebody's selling it along the way and the word will go out into the crime syndicates. Do not come here, stay away, this is a safe haven. I've been in conservation a long time. Uh, I've never seen a corporation so unreservedly come to the party. Poaching, you know, species that are so scarce on this planet has to be front and center in the minds of responsible companies. If there's one passionate dream I could have, and I'm a person who believes in making my dreams a reality, uh, is to eradic eradicate all forms of poaching. Uh, that, to me, would be one of the most successful things I believe I could achieve in my life. And if we go, go to zero kills in, in terms of the park, and we're almost there already, uh, and we create Save Haven, that'll be a great step forward for us all as humanity. A great step forward for which they've made an enormous contribution.